This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition the season's Tonight, greetings to you all. I'm Chishina Roll, as always. It is so great to have you with us. Topping News, a leading resort on the island of Bimini, continues to be a major game changer within that island's tourism industry. Now, officials there are bracing themselves not only for a bumper holiday season, but a record-breaking year. Joan Davis Roll reports. For the past five decades, Bimini Big Game Club has been a fixture here on the island of Bimini. It's been a playground for the rich and famous. And now local officials say they've recently undergone a major renovation project in the millions. Build Bimini's oldest flagship resort, the Big Game Resort and Fishing Club is reaping the benefits of a buoyant tourism economy. For years, the world-class property has been a gateway to adventure for anglers and vacationers alike. General Manager Steve Riley, along with Dock Master Robbie Smith, are thrilled about the resort's latest development. Well, we're just uh, finishing now a major renovation project, not only putting in a new seawall, new docks in the marina, but renovating all of the rooms, uh, new furnishings, uh, new kitchen equipment, for basically top to bottom, even a brand new swimming pool. We want to keep it in the same size. We're still a 51-room property with the uh, 75 marina slips and also keep it in the same traditional Bahamian Bimini feel. Um, from the decor that we're doing to the style of the property. We want to make sure that people know when they're coming to Bimini, they're coming to the true Bahamas here at Bimini Big Game Club. I'm really excited because uh, they put six million into the Bimini Big Game Club and now the marina, it's upgraded. I think we're gonna have maybe the new BTC uh, television as well on there at the marina and all new pedestals, all new docks and the good thing about it, a uh, Bahamian guy, a company that built the marina, and it's one of the, you know, I would say, state-of-the-art marina. Raleigh says the resort, which has hosted such elite visitors like the renowned Ernest Hemingway, has witnessed tremendous improvements and is now banking on a robust season. It is the end of our slow season. You know, right now we're coming into the holidays, though. We're uh, expecting to be full over New Year's Eve. We're almost full already. We've started running some Bahamian specials as well with a bed and breakfast special. So we're getting people coming over from Freeport and Nassau um, as a, sort of a, a quick getaway. Um, and then um, February, we're, uh, we're starting with our groups. We get dive groups coming in now for the Great Hammerheads. We've got a yoga group that's already booked that's actually buying out the whole resort for nine nights. So occupancy for 2016 definitely, definitely looks great. Officials say Bimini Big Game Club, which is expected to soon be busting at the seams, also has some new employment opportunities available. We actually are just put up a posting um, accepting applications for all departments because right now we have nearly 60 employees. Um, but for example, we, um, in addition to our main Bimini, uh, the bar and grill, we have a Sharky's bar that we opened at the south end of our marina and we plan on opening it uh, five days a week. So we're bringing on additional uh, food and beverage staff as well as uh, managers for different departments as well. Joan Davis Roll. ZNS Network News. Meantime, a Grand Bahama family is expressing confidence in the local economy as a new business is opened in the Western District. Sabrina Brown has the details. Sandra D. Henfield and her husband Jeremy are on a mission. They recently opened Breakthrough Christian Bookstore and Gifts in Martintown, 8 Mile Rock. But she says it's more than a commercial store. It's a ministry. The idea was imparted to me several years ago when I had experienced some personal events in my life. And the birth, the birthing of the bookstore came about by me going into a, another bookstore and by me reading the literature that they had. So the bookstore is like a ministry for me to help people. You have a lot of hurting people out there who's going through so much stuff and the lack of knowledge the word of god say we will perish so by getting the information in here that's my part on helping god's people to overcome their trials she says it wasn't easy getting the business up and running as there were several challenges everything with god is timing so this is the perfect timing be it yes this is the season when christ sent his son he sacrificed his son just for us so that we can have salvation free so what better opportunity to open up at this time instead of purchasing a phone or a, a ipad or you know any other gift what about a bible or a nice devotional for your loved one the christian store comes at a time when many small businesses continue to struggle to survive but henfield is optimistic and when we travel to pick up all the stuff we order we were robbed but then 
left, it's okay. We are still alive. Things can be replaced, but not our lives. So in that we give God thanks. He's in all things. Give him thanks. So, but we had other setbacks. Um, even with the building and the getting the shelves and stuff together was a setback. But it's okay because it makes us to appreciate that what we are doing is for Christ. Sabrina Brown, ZNS Network News. In other news, the Grand Bahama Port Authority spreading a little joy this Christmas. Thanks to the generosity of port executives, several families are a whole lot happier this Christmas season. While many gather around a table full of food and treats tomorrow, there are many in our society who will be unable to do so. That is why for the fifth year, the Grand Bahama Port Authority has distributed hundreds of turkeys to organizations whose main focus is helping those who cannot help themselves. Port Executive Sarah St. George. GBPA started this turkey drive about four or five years ago with Sir Jack's blessing. And I'm very happy to say that we've extended it this year to all five, six, Homes for the Elderly in Freeport, the Council for the Disabled, the Children's Home, and Columbus House uh, for Young Boys and Girls. All these organizations will be sharing not just 100 turkeys, like last year, but 150 turkeys. And we hope this will spread some Christmas cheer to old and young alike and those who need it most in our community. A number of charities received the turkeys, including Grants Senior Home, Home Away From Home, Rebirthers Senior Citizens, the Red Cross, the Children's Home and the Salvation Army. It means a whole lot to me. I'm able now to fix a nice Christmas dinner for my old folks. Thank God for Grand Bahama Port Authority for blessing us with the turkeys and stuff that we made their dreams come true for the Christmas. Mm -hmm. This donation means a lot to us. Um, they've made us to get used to it now and I look forward to it. During the season the donation will go very far because we feed 53 plus persons every day so we'll be able to feed our Meals on Wheels recipient and we'll also be able to give a few ham or turkey to the less fortunate. And I just want to thank the Grand Mama Port Authority for giving us such a wonderful donation and I wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And during this Christmas, St. George says we should never forget the true meaning of the season. Christmas is a time for forgiveness, reflection, and gratitude to our Savior. No one should feel forgotten during this season of compassion and love. And it's in the spirit that I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, full of joy, family love, and happiness. And may that last through 2016 and for many, many more years. Also in news this evening, police on the northern island of Abaco investigating a double fatality. According to reports, the accident occurred shortly after 12 midnight on Don McKay Boulevard involving a black 2003 Mercedes-Benz and a white Honda Civic vehicle with five passengers. Now, the vehicles reportedly collided head on and were extensively damaged. Four passengers were inside the white Honda Civic and they were seriously injured. Two were pronounced dead by a doctor at the Marsh Harbor Clinic and two other passengers were airlifted to New Providence for further medical attention. At last report, they were listed in serious condition. The driver of the Mercedes-Benz escaped serious injuries, but reports say the couple killed in that mishap were engaged to be married. Abaco police are actively investigating this matter. Stay with us, there's more news right after this.